Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back to our Elixir series. Today we're going to talk about conditionals. Um, and right now I'm going to show you guys a very, very simple conditional. This is just checking if a number is even. So if we divide a number by 2 and the remainder is 0, then it means it's even. And if it's not, then it's false. It's quite simple. So if I run this and I check it, it's even. 1 is odd, correct. And 2 is even, yep. How about 4? Great. That works great. Now, if else statements work fine and everything, um, but they only work for if something is true or false. And they only work for, for one type of uh, condition. So in some other programming languages, we have if and else ifs, this kind of construct. But in Elixir, we don't have uh, this idea of if and else ifs. But what we do have is something very similar called a cond. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a greeting function. And it's going to take in the current hour. So for instance, if and it's going to be a 24 hour clock. So if the hour is less than 12, we're going to say uh, good morning. If the hour is after 12 or before 5, we're going to say good afternoon. And if the hour is greater than is it 5 or greater, we're going to say good evening. Okay? So let's just start with those simple conditions. Uh, a con is quite simple to use. We can just use a, uh, we just use the, the keyword cond in a do block. And it's very, very similar to a case statement, but what we do is we write, uh, instead of a pattern to match against, we just put in the condition itself. So if the hour is less than 12, then we're going to output good morning. If the hour is 12, sorry, is greater than or equal to 12, we can output good afternoon. And now if the hour is greater than, sorry, we need one more thing here. And uh, hour is before so this is 5 p.m. by the way. 5 p.m. is 5 plus 12 is 17. And for here, if it's greater than 17, then we'll output good evening. Um, and so let's go ahead and let's see if this thing works should work just fine. So we have our conditionals and our greeting. And let's say it's 7 a.m. Good morning. Great. How about it's noon? How about it's 1 p.m.? How about if it's 5 o'clock? Mm, very truthy. Ah, made one small mistake. Let's try it again. Oh, sorry, I need to put it afterwards. <laughs> Reading. So again, if it's five o'clock. Good evening. Great. 
Um, now there's there is one more thing, um, and and as I, and I talked about it before. So over here we handle cases that um, don't match here, right? And we can actually do the same thing within our con block. And remember, I said it it actually goes in order. So it's going to check here, then here, then here, just like an if else uh, if else if statement. And so to get something like uh, an else block, what we can do is we just use true, because obviously true will evaluate the true. And we can say greetings. This can match any time, right? So now. If I try to greet somebody at, mm, that's actually the best part is that we can just put anything in here, junk, and this will match. Ah, uh, because this actually turns out to be a one. <laughs> but anyways, this this will match for any kind of case that doesn't actually match. So what we can do to actually simulate that is we can say, um, and it's before, sorry. And the hour is before 25. So it's 24 hours in a day, right? So now what we can do is we can actually just check on 25. And it just returns greetings because it doesn't match any other statement. So that's it for this week. Uh, again, I'm Alan from Plangora. And this is about all about conditionals. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We release a new video every Wednesday and also a mini series video every Friday. So please remember to tune in and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.